Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. That's right, she's beautiful too. I am back here at the Centennial Park on Venice Boulevard. The library is all the way down there. Two months ago, I did a video about an update, how it looks right here, and I talked to Mark. The interview is on my channel if you want to check it out. So Mark said he tried to keep the area clean. He has just one little tent. But now the city doesn't clean up. Normally they clean it once a month, but I haven't seen anybody clean the place. So there's more and more people are coming and they're building bigger and bigger structures. They accumulate a lot of stuff around the tent. So it doesn't look like it looked like two months ago. I just wanted to show you the difference because a lot of people always ask me, Mike, you did the whole story about the homeless encampment in Venice. Why don't you do more updates so we see how Venice looks like? And this is what the video is all about today. This is South Venice, right across from the canals. There's not as many tents as it used to be. This is directly going towards the library. And this is the Los Angeles Public Library, right here in Venice. This is the video I shot about two months ago and since they get tickets on the beach a lot of them they came to this library park right here setting up the tents. It kind of looks still neat there's just a tent not much around it so I want to compare this to how it looks today. Like I said this is two months ago and the next video you're gonna see is how it looks today and you make the decision if it got better or worse. They used to clean this park at least once a month. Everybody had to move everything. They cleaned it and then they could set up the next day again. But they're not cleaning it anymore. At least I haven't seen them cleaning it. I've been in Venice almost every day, but I haven't seen the big cleanup trucks anymore. Maybe they come early in the morning. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like they clean anymore. And this I recorded yesterday. You can see there's still people giving out free food to the homeless people. And lately I have not seen St. Joseph people or from Lhasa signing up people for housing. I don't know if they still give away free temporary housing or not. Like I said, I have not seen it. But as you can see, it looks like there's way more tents now and they accumulate way more stuff than before. And since there's North Venice Boulevard and South Venice Boulevard on the left and the right, so this area is kind of like an, a little island. And they don't really come in contact with the locals because if you want to go to this island, you actually have to cross the street. Of course, the neighbors across the street, they have to look at this. But it's not like for, before on the Venice boardwalk that the people actually have to walk there and interact with the homeless people. And of course, they're looking at you when you walk by, especially when you have your camera. So you're not really welcome to walk here.
Well, I'm right back here at the world famous Venice Boardwalk. And the people that walk up and down the boardwalk right now, they have no idea, unless they watched my videos from five, six months ago, how bad Venice Beach used to look. And look how clean it looks right now. Yes, there are still homeless people setting up in Venice in between the alleys or like right on the sand part between Santa Monica and Venice. Even the ones right there on Rose. And there's a big encampment in front of the Venice Library. But for the most part, if the police see somebody setting up on the boardwalk, they still enforce it, they still give tickets or warnings and they make the people move. In the beginning, all the business owners said Venice Beach business is so bad because of all the homeless people and the encampments on the boardwalk. But now all the homeless are gone and business is actually still really bad. So hopefully it's gonna get better in the future. But there's still a lot of work to be done to help the homeless people here in Venice. You don't really see any tents on the beach anymore. Only right here on the border from Venice to Santa Monica. So maybe they think Santa Monica police doesn't want to enforce it or the Venice police doesn't want to enforce it. That's why they're right in the middle. So I don't really know what the rules are. You see the sign? They're all lined up straight in line with the sign. So I guess neither of Santa Monica or Venice wants to enforce it. And that's why they set up exactly right here. This is really rarely, but sometimes you see how people try to set up right next to the boardwalk again. But as you can see in the background, there's police walking around and they're looking for the person who lives right here. This is the alley the police just checked out. Or sometimes you just see a blanket with some pillows and some belongings. Maybe a few things in the pagoda. This is the parking lot from the Waterfront Cafe. He's writing a ticket for open container. They still have retail places available. I think the key money would be around $80,000 just to move in. Remember all the stuff that was accumulated right here? They had like a stove, a bed everything big even the structures they built and like i said now it looks totally different than from a few months ago and there's a lot of people that come up to me and say hey mike thank you very much for showing us how venice beach looked and since it's clean again we came down and visit venice again thank you so much yeah i appreciate you guys watching and keep watching my videos this area was filled with tents.
and you've probably seen this area in my other videos this is right behind gold's gym and in the beginning it looked really really bad now you can see there's like a few empty spaces where there's no tents this used to be all full of tents even though there's a lot of tents around this area looks much better than before so hopefully they can work on it and one day it's going to be clean and everybody has housing or a temporary housing or getting off the streets Well, my friends, that was it live here from Muscle Beach, Venice Beach, California. I hope you liked the video. A lot of people always text me on my Instagram, Mike, why don't you show us how Venice looks now? You haven't done an update video for a while. So this was the update video. If you liked the video, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. I see you next time. Choosing, get into the chopper now.